Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to film for you a really pretty feminine date night makeup. And if you like this video and if you've liked my other videos, please give them a thumbs up. It lets me know what you like and how I can make this channel better to suit your interests and share the things that you want to hear about. So I'm very excited to get started, so here we go. So for any date night look, you always want to start with prepping your skin. It really helps the makeup look more natural. So we're going to start with the Ombre Elise uh, Le Creme, Le Creme Concentrate. And this is a really great moisturizer if you are combination to dry. So I'm just going to warm this up in my hands. The nice thing about the skincare part of your routine is that's your time to pamper yourself. So even if it's just a few minutes while you're getting ready in the morning, give yourself a little bit of a face massage. Really rub it in. There's all glands in here that clean out your sinuses and help like get toxins out of your system up here. So use your fingertips and just drag these down and it gives you like a little mini facial just as you're putting your, your moisturizer on in the mornings. It's a great little skincare tip. So I'm going to start with the Josie Moran Vibrancy Fluid Foundation. This has argan oil in it and it's very nourishing to the skin. It leaves a really beautiful dewy finish, but it lets the skin shine through so that way you're not feeling like you have a mask. It's just going to let your natural skin texture but still has enough coverage to take the redness out of the skin. So as you can see, this really gave Allie's skin a beautiful, dewy, glowy finish. It took all the redness out. Um, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but Allie does have a few freckles, and you can still see them peeking through. You can still see the texture of her skin, um, but it just this foundation really just does look like skin, and it feels really lightweight. Um, but one thing I've found from wearing it myself is it does make my skin feel softer. So at the end of the night when I'm washing my face, um, even though I'm wearing makeup, this does have a little bit of a skin care um, in it and you will feel like your skin is getting a little softer from wearing it. So that's kind of a cool benefit of this one. So next on the eyes, I'm going to be using a long wear product. This is a cream eyeshadow from Revlon. It's the Color Stay in the color Chocolate. It looks like that. It's a really pretty taupey matte brown, um, sort of like a mushroom shade. Um, what I'm going to do is apply this with my finger, so I'm just going to put a little bit on that ring finger and start at the middle of the eye and just dot this around. Now this looks really beautiful on its own. It just gives you that little bit of shadow on the lid, but you can also use it as a base. So if you find that your lids get oily, this is a really great drugstore product that can give you that long-lasting eye without getting any creasing or anything like that. Good multi-purpose product. Definitely. Now you don't want to take the color too high, so right where, I don't know if you can open your eyes, right where you see this crease here, you want to keep everything here pretty clean. I think that's what makes the eye look more lifted and um, a little bit more natural. If you bring makeup too far above the crease, it can look a little bit overdone. So if you want your makeup to look really natural, um, try to keep most of the color just on this bottom part of the lid. So as you can see, that just gave Allie the tiniest bit of shadow. It doesn't need to be perfect because we are going to be putting eyeshadow over top. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal um, La Palette Nude Number no. 2. This one has some really beautiful kind of nudey, pinky shades. There's a few browns in here. Um, and we're going to be going with kind of a mauve pink date night look. So I'm going to start with... I'm going to start with this shade here, which is very similar to the color of the cream product we just put down first. So I just apply a little bit on my brush and starting at the center of the lid, dust that over and blend. You always want to put just a little bit on the brush. If you put too much, to start, it's really hard, much harder to, um, to blend it out. Start small, especially if you're using a drugstore eyeshadow, just in case it has any fall down. The less, the better, and then you can work your way up if you need to layer a few more. 
to make it look more pigmented. The shade right here, it's like a lilac-y, pinky, mauve -y shadow color. <laughs> and I'm going to just pop this right where the crease is. And what that's going to do is just lighten it up a tiny bit and make it a little easier to blend. So pop that right in here. And that'll just take away any seam. And then if you still want to blend it just a tad more, get in there with another clean brush and wipe away. I know it's hard to think of like why would you have one brush just for blending, but it really does make all the difference when you're trying to make your makeup look, you know, really good in person. There's, there's a difference between makeup that's editorial, makeup that looks good on camera, um, and I hope that I can show you as much as I can on camera looking as natural as possible. Sometimes we have to go a little bit heavier with it just so that you can see it. Um, but in real life, you know, you want this to be as blended and natural looking as possible. So when someone sees you or when, you're, when your date sees you, they don't say, whoa, your makeup. They say, whoa, you're gorgeous. Okay. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is take a... The last thing I'm going to do is take this little bit of this pale pink here on a little tiny brush, a little detail brush. I'm tapping the excess off on my hand. Close, and I'm just going to put the teeniest amount right in that corner. This is kind of a shadowy shade, so to have something a little bit bright right there. And it's not like, this is not like crystally or glittery. It's just going to add the slightest bit of dimension to that inner part of Allie's eye, really waking up her eyes and making them look much more open. With the liner, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion. This is a super matte black. I'm going to um, tight line her eyes, so I'm going to lift the lid and get right on this waterline and paint it black. And the reason for that is it's going to give Allie definition right on that lash line without it adding too much color on the lid. So what I want you to do is look down that way, but keep your chin here and up. That way you don't really, see. yeah, keep looking over there. Really pretty. This bit, and not, I'm not going to do a line, I'm just going to dot this. This is a very, very creamy pencil, so I don't know if you can see just how gently I'm pushing this into the lashes right where the root hits the lid. And then what I'm going to do is take a little smudging brush. This is actually a little angled brush from Real Techniques. It's actually called their brow brush, but it's got a great little angle. What you can do is with the point, the top point of the angle out, brush it back on itself. And what it's going to do is blend that line and just make your lashes look fuller at the root. That looks very glamorous, but not too heavy. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. If you want to make sure you're getting really, really close to that root, you can lift your brow with your thumb, even on yourself, and just push that product. The thing I like about these Urban Decay pencils, and I know I've talked about them in other videos, is that they're very blendable when you're applying them, but then they set and they stay put. They don't, they don't move, at least on me and on the, on the other people that I've used them on. They seem to stay and not. Ooh. So Allie, what's your go-to makeup look when you're going on a date? Um, I usually go for like gold, some kind of gold shadow, usually like a stick or cream um, shadow and then light black eyeliner, a little flick, and black mascara. Mascara is a big one for me. Do you um, think that's like the thing you would take with you on a desert island? Mascara, yeah. You wouldn't need SPF. <laughs> Well, you tan really well. I should. I should use it more, probably, <laughs> than I do. Um, but yeah, definitely mascara. Eyes are just so important. Keeping your eyes open and looking alert. They're your main focal point. 
know, especially on a date, like if you're in like a room with a lot of people and you might be in like a really crammed restaurant or someplace that's not like super, super bright, I feel like you really want the focus to be on the eyes. Yeah, and like lips are great, but they, you know, usually wear off when you're eating and stuff like that. And it's not something for me that is always that important. So you'd rather do eye over lip? Usually, yeah. Although as becoming a mom and stuff, I feel like I've been adding lip to my repertoire so that I look more awake and more put together. Is, <laughs> that is so true. When you're really tired, sometimes you do want to take the focus away from your eyes. You want to take the focus away from the eyes and put it on the lips so you're not pointing out like dark circles or, mm -hmm. you know, being really, really sleepy. Mm -hmm. All right, and I just put some NARS um, creamy concealer in the color Custard just to cover here and I'm just patting that in. And Allie has dry skin so I can use this all over her face, like if I want to come in here, if she's a little red or if there's like a little blemish or something, this is great because it won't break you out if you're dry. I'm not quite sure. If you're super oily, I don't know if this would be the best thing. You might want to just try it. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <sighs> All right, we are going to go in with a cream blush. I want to give like a really pretty flush to the cheek. So I'm going to be using um, this Sephora Colorful Cheek Ink Gel. It's this really pretty shade of like a peony pink. And I know that might seem like a bit much, but you'll see that when it's on, it looks really soft and flushed. So I'm going to apply that with this little flat tipped um, foundation brush. Um, and that way it'll really buff in to the skin. Okay, smile. So the apple of the cheek is, oops, excuse me. I hate when that happens. Apple of the cheek is right here. If you go any further in, you're going to look like you have like an allergic reaction to something. So keep your blush just on this apple. Don't bring it any closer to the nose. And if you want to blend it out up here, there's this technique called draping where you bring the blush. It was kind of like an 80s thing that was when it originated, but you bring the blush a little bit onto the cheekbone and it gives a really nice flush. There was a huge trend of that um, actually in Asia in the last year where a lot of women were wearing Really, really pink blush, really high in the cheekbone, almost like where you put a highlighter, and it gives that kind of baby doll flush. So I'm just going to do this side. I think people can be scared of blush sometimes because they think it might make them look too red or if they have any redness in their skin. But if you're using the right foundation, you shouldn't worry too, too much. Um, the, the foundation should take all the color out that, you know, that needs to be neutralized, and then the blush will add the color back in. So I'm going to use the uh, Lancome Hypnos Drama. I love this. I don't know if you can see the brush is a little bit curved. <laughs> I'm not going to put it on your forehead. <laughs> but it really hugs the lashes. So let's see. Get right in here. It's super black, and I, I love it. I've been using this every day for the last few months, and I really like this one. Use that little tip of the brush to do the detailing. So if you're finding you're not getting the lashes all the way here, just hug it in there and make sure that they're all coated. Can I look up? I always do a little bit on the bottom. I think it looks really pretty and feminine. Not too much. You just want to like get them matching the same shade as the top lashes without it looking clumpy. Okay, so now that the foundation has been sitting for a little bit and we've got the cream blush on, I'm noticing you know some of the oils in Ellie's skin are just oxidizing a little bit with the foundation, so that's fine. All we're going to do is take that foundation brush and gently push it. So if you're finding this happens to you, just push the product back into the skin and then if we need to powder at the end we'll just add a little bit of pressed powder in the t-zone just so it looks really blended if you have like a more medium to olivey complexion this is actually going to look more like a nude on you which is really pretty 
It won't look too, too peachy. If you're more fair, you'll definitely see more of the coral tones popping up. But on Allie, this is exactly what I wanted. It's, I wanted something that would give her a little bit of color in the lips that was kind of unfussy for her date, um, but not too much color because then it can kind of tend toward looking a bit overdone. And I think on a date you want to look like yourself, but just dressed up a little. So don't be too precise with this. It is a stainy kind of texture, but it has a good amount of playtime. So you can just kind of take your finger and blot it or use a tissue. But the nice thing is that once this dries, it'll your lips will be that color all night. Okay, and just to set her brows so that they don't budge on her date, I'm going to be using the Glossier Boy Brow in the color brown. I think Allie could get away with using the black because she has such dark hairs, um, but a clear would work just fine too. I just This is just the one I happen to have on me. I'm going to get all these little guys, and this gives you that really gorgeous, like, full brow, and it keeps them from moving. I like to rustle up the hairs in the front first. Kind of sets the tone for the rest of the brow, especially if you have a very full brow. Um, it just gives you that volume, helps you see where you're going. And just to add a little drop of bronziness, bronziness? Bronze? Just to add a drop of like a bronze color to her, I'm going to be taking this Bare Minerals, Bare Skin, Sheer Sun. It's this really amazing little serum bronzer. I'm going to take this on that same brush we used for her blush, and I'm just going to do a little bit around the hairline. You can barely see this, but it adds the slightest bit of like sheen and glow and healthy kind of bombshell skin. I'm just going to tap it on her cheek. I also talked about this in my last video as a way to kind of bronze up your winter foundation. So if you're starting to get a little sun and you haven't bought a new foundation yet, this is a great way to make sure that your skin is matching your foundation and, um, and just really warm up the skin. It's super lightweight, so you kind of can't go wrong with it. It's really great if you're scared of using another type of cream or liquid bronzer product. I'm just going to put a little on the tip of the nose here. And if you want to add the tiniest bit of like a natural dewy highlight, I love this RMS Beauty Liquid Luminizer. Just rub your finger in there, put a little bit on the back of your hand, just to take some off, and then just gently dot it. And what that's going to do is just catch the light. So if you're on a date, just turn this way, and you're, you know, in like a really dim lit place, all this is going to do when you turn your head or you look down or look away while you're talking, it's just going to catch that light and give you that little bit of luminosity um, that looks really beautiful and pretty. Love that. Thank you very much for watching. This is our date night look with a beautiful, like, mushroom, gorgeous, kind of deep eye with a matte lip, a really flush cheek, really, really fresh skin. Um, I think this is just a super easy look that anybody can do. Um, if you have any questions, leave me a comment, let me know if I can help in any way or if there's any products that you're not finding and need some help getting some substitutions or dupes, I can always help with that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see all of my new videos. If you like Allie being in the videos, give it an extra thumbs up, make sure you thumbs up, and leave us a comment and let us know what other videos you might like us to do in the future.
Alright, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs> Don't go away. If you want the beats, <laughs> you know where to find them. Do you guys even like these videos? Should I just cancel my YouTube channel? <laughs>